good morning everyone so uh, today i'm going to show you uh, october november 2021 pre-release uh, variant 22 all the task output uh, uh, first of all i will show you uh, the test without any validation and in the next session i will show you with the help of validation let's run the program so first of all i have to enter the customer name or passenger name so i put my name for example I put my ID 12221. Two, two, five digits ID and it's saved in my array at the last position. I want to start my journey at 1215, for example. So uh, that's uh, my journey start time. Now I will choose my code, for example, C1, then F1, then M1. Sorry, F1. No, uh, recipient ID is uh, entered the code for F1, fine. And now it's showing me uh, error, there is M1, okay. So M1 is okay, F1 is okay, fine. Now I will show you the, uh, so, uh, the, the customer should see his name, his ID, and uh, start time, the routes he chose, uh, the booking uh, information, booking ID is uh, how much you have to pay initially. This is the system time. And you are eligible for 40% discount. So as you start your journey after 12, after 10, so you will get 10%, 40% discount. So after discount, you will get this the new price. So I believe all the information is okay for me. So I will press one to, uh, get the ticket that's it so my reservation is confirmed so job done now let's run the program with the help of validation let's see okay so uh, i start my name again okay so I my id for example three digits it's wrong uh, my id is more than four digits five digits is also wrong so let's do the original id okay so id is okay so it saved the id now I want to start my journey at 12.15. Uh, I choose C1, and then I choose, uh, for example, M6. It's showing wrong. Uh, M1. It's also showing wrong because M is a small letter. So now I press back one, M1, and it's showing uh, should be valid code. Then I go for F1. Okay, so it's showing, showing the same information like before and with the discount also but i've uh, i found that uh, actually i want to go to c2 but uh, by mistake i choose c1 so i want to change the receipt uh, so that's why i will press zero uh, this is a part of tax three so it will ask me to input the information one more time uh, so check it, uh, ready, okay then uh, one two 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 one Okay, it's saying ID exists already, please proceed because I already give my ID and it's stored in my array. So what time we want to start? In the same time I want to start. Okay, and uh, I press now C2, fine. Now I press M1, okay. And I press F1, okay. Now all the information are showed properly, I believe, and I am satisfied with the information uh, and it's correct. So I will press one to confirm my reservation. So reservation is done and uh, that's all for today. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you have any query, let me know. Thank you very much.